also new at 10. Family and friends circling in prayer near the scene of a deadly shooting on 18th Street. Lakeisha Timmons, a mother of eight, was killed right outside her home. Talil Mohadeen shares how family is now pushing for change to protect victims of domestic violence. Right now we pray for your grace, your mercy, and your comfort. Holding hands in prayer. We need strength in our lives, God. Days after Lakeisha Timmons was gunned down, her loved ones are gathered together in grief. My daughter did not deserve to die like this. Amen. She had a beautiful soul. She was a nice person. She was very loved by everyone. Like everybody loved her. You couldn't get no bad comments from my mama. She took care of everybody. Family holding a vigil where the mother of eight was killed Monday near 18th and Hadley. 52 year old Ronald Fuller is charged with her death. Family told investigators the pair had three kids together and were going through a messy custody dispute. My daughter was going to get a restraining order put on him. The judge denied it. She reported um, everything that he did, all of his tactics, nothing was done. Carmen Petrie, head of Sojourner, which provides domestic violence prevention and intervention services, says sadly stories like Lakeisha's are on the rise. That's been a hard couple of years in Milwaukee and we continue to be in a cycle of escalation. She also says for survivors and their families, the court process can be complex and it's not uncommon for judges to deny restraining orders over a lack of evidence. Systems are designed to operate in certain ways and sometimes they don't operate the way we need them. Too. It's one of the reasons Lakeisha's loved ones say more needs to be done. This ain't just no event. They got to change some things around this. The family is requesting a meeting with the mayor, police chief, and other city leaders, hoping to make it so no one else has to go through what Lakeisha did. In Milwaukee, Tehdil Muhaddin, TMJ4 News. If you or someone you know is in a domestic situation, there are resources to help, like the Sojourner Family Peace Center and the Women's Center. Those numbers are right there on your screen.